Καλησπέρα σας καλοί φίλοι τηλεθεατές. Καλώς ορίσατε στο πρόγραμμά μας Faces, πρόσωπα. Και είμαι πολύ ευτυχής που απόψε έχω ένα πολύ όμορφο πρόσωπο μαζί μου. Πήγαν αρκετά χρόνια <laughs> να ειδωθούμε τηλεοπτικά, αλλά όμως την βλέπω τακτικά. Πιο τακτικά στο ραδιόφωνο. <laughs> Ραδιοφωνικά λοιπόν συναντιόμαστε και πρέπει να... Είναι πολύ χαρούμενοι και ευτυχισμένοι γιατί κάνω και ωραίο καφέ. Μην μου πεις, α. That's very true. That's yeah. very true. You prefer English or Greek? I mean, no coffee. I'm talking about tonight. <laughs> That's quite a hard question. Yes, it's a hard question. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, English, you can, but we yeah, can speak a little yeah, bit you of can Greek. Yeah, you to Greek if you like, you know what I mean. Yeah, coffee. Εγώ καλησπέρα σας. Καλησπέρα. Χαίρομαι να είμαι κοντά σας. Και εμείς χαίρομαστε και το ίδιο είμαι σίγουρος και τα παιδιά εδώ και ο Γιώργος. Ε, Καφέ θα κάνουμε μετά. Εντάξει. Δεν πειράζει. Λοιπόν, Κατρίνα μου. Ναι, πάμε. It's been a long time, as we say, but you did quite a few things and we're going to go through these things. Okay. Uh, you are not just a presenter on the radio, you are not just an actress, you are not just a singer, you do so many things. Uh, mostly I met you and I know you more from your presentations, you know, in uh, LGR. Yeah. And I know you uh, as well as uh, acting because you've been my daughter. That's it, a couple of times. times yeah. <laughs> a couple of times in a different project. So, yeah, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to the third time. Okay. Because there is a project. Potentially, as yeah. I'm playing a character yeah. and, you know, you well, might it's be... it's working well, isn't it, Vasily? Yeah, it's, it's working, working well, it's working know. well. We, we uh, might have more to say next time. Yeah. So, um, Tell me about your um, radio, uh, you know, uh, Korea. The radio, um, it's, I love it. It's my connection to the community. I'm, you know, get to listen and play all different kinds of music from the very modern mm -hmm. to certain shows where I get to do the classics. And it just keeps me in touch, I think, with the music, but also just, I feel like with my roots and, mm -hmm. um, Yeah, I still, after all these years, it's been a quite a few years now yeah, yeah. since I was uh, work experience. And you know, uh, I think you uh, came from a village, I mean, your background from a village where there are so many singers yeah, and good singers. What's that? Is, there, is it the water? Is it something? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But <laughs> something in Aradifu. When you go to Cyprus, I suppose, you drink in plenty of water. I do, yeah. It must be the water. So maybe it's that. Yeah, yeah. it must <laughs> be the water. So Aradipu village, yes. That's right, yeah. Okay, and your family are uh, living there? Your father and mother I have at the some, moment. yeah, some family yeah, yeah. in Cyprus and some, and some here, here as well. Yes. So it's good wherever I am. You have, uh, I have family around. as far as I remember, two sisters and one brother? Three sisters. Three sisters, yeah. no brother? Three, two brothers. And two. <laughs> Almost. Ah, <laughs> ehaza, ehaza. Sorry. So you are six all together? Uh, five siblings. Yeah. And then my brothers are married and have children. Okay. So the family gets bigger. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So, uh, which um, uh, days you are on? On LDR. On LDR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tuesdays, scandalous, uh -huh. of course. Uh, night time. Yeah, night time. With all Three hours, yeah? Three hours. Okay. All the modern stuff. And then Fridays, sort of late morning into mm -hmm. early afternoon. Is where I make uh, coffee. That's right. That's yes. when you make my coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then a Saturday afternoon as well for yes. a couple of hours. So that's ah, kind that's of mixed and, and that one. You're talking about sports Saturday as yeah, well we because include, I was listening to you last yeah. Saturday and you were talking about sports. There's some you sporty know. headlines. Yeah, that's good. During that's that good. show, yeah. Okay, now going back to uh, the acting and music, mm -hmm. you study. You study yes. both. Yes. The uh, performance. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, I mean, uh, you did both in uh, drama school. Or I did, so I did, um, it was... It was a performing arts? Yeah, so for, I did my music degree uh -huh. in commercial ah, music. music degree, okay. At a time where there wasn't really many uh, contemporary music degrees at the time, actually, in London. Uh -huh. um, so I did three years, so it yeah. was um, performance, it was songwriting, it was also the business side as well. Uh -huh. um, and then after that, later, I did my, um, I guess, my sort of traditional acting training. Uh -huh. So I did that for a couple of years. And you've been to America as well. You did I a did, course in America. I did because when I finished, yeah. I really enjoyed the Strasbourg uh, modality. Yes. So I, I trained in London and also in LA mm -hmm. with Diane and Laurie Hall who worked directly with Strasbourg. Okay. Um, and so it's the modality that I tend to use when I'm doing an acting project. Uh -huh. I still lean into that. Lovely. Um, for okay. my characters. Yes. So uh, you... Um, 
write music and lyrics together? I mean, is it a combination? What, what is it? Um, yeah, it kind of depends. Um, a lot of the time, melodies, I'll have melodies that come into my mind. Uh -huh. um, and that'll start. I'll start with that before then I add sort of the lyrics. And I work with other musicians sometimes uh -huh. to kind of take what's in my head oh, <laughs> and make it. <laughs> and to make it. Thank you for the reminder. Um, yeah, to kind of help me bring whatever my vision is to, is to life. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, uh, so tell me about, uh, I'm going to see a video clip uh, and I uh, want you to tell me about this liar, liar. Liar, liar. Where this came from? <laughs> it, where you get your uh, subjects, your um, uh, themes from? Your uh, Well, with these particular know. songs for the EP, because mm -hmm. I think our last time together uh -huh. for a Hellenic interview, I think yeah. I was recording, writing, um, Liar, Liar was the first single, I released it last uh -huh. year. Um, it's the first single from my debut EP, which is five tracks. Okay. And the EP, um, four of the five tracks are quite personal yeah. songs, really, um, that mm. came from a challenging time in my life. And it was my kind of way of processing things and, I guess, creating something positive and... Um, was it about somebody who was telling lies to you? Or yeah, pretty much. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you call him liar. So yeah. And you make it. Uh, but as double, a song, yeah, yes. liar, liar. Yeah, that's good, liar, liar, yeah. liar, liar. Yeah. So it's kind yeah. of my rocky uh, anthem. Yeah. I'm better without you. Kind of breakup song. So. Lovely, lovely. Can yeah. you go and see it and? Yes. Yeah. So the video, mm -hmm. um, the official music video is on all the platforms, and there's also a lyric video version as well. Uh -huh. So you can sing along. You okay. know, if you if you've experienced yeah, 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 the same yeah, kind yeah, of thing, yeah, yeah, okay, you can you can try. You can yeah share can share in that. Okay, <laughs> let's go and see lot. this uh, liar liar. <laughs>
liar, liar. <laughs> nice video. I think next time I'm expecting you to have a look and, and learn the words. And yes, you can definitely. It. I can sing it with you. Yeah. Uh, yes, I mean, when you do a, a live performance, mm -hmm. we can, I can get in That's and just right. sing a couple you of lines. You can do some harmonies yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think I can do it? I think why not? Why not? <laughs> course so uh, but um, you know um, I mean you do your um, you are appearing in various shows mm -hmm. uh, during uh, you know last few years because um, I know from your um, you know uh, social media as well tell me about uh, this how I mean do you I mean get um, like invitations to perform or uh, yeah, some is it, or, yeah. Sometimes, um, but what I've also started doing, like with Lie Lie when I re released it, um, I did um, sort of an intimate headline show mm -hmm. um, where I get to perform uh, for Lie Lie, if I remember rightly. It was a full band. Um, uh, yeah. so Is it your band? Or yeah, so, your band? Yes. And, okay. um, yeah, so I get to put on maybe a 45 minute set and I sort of curate the show. Mm -hmm. I have supporting artists as well. And um, yeah, I had an opportunity as well to sing with a supporting artist. Wow. And it's just always a really, just a great way I feel like to, yeah. before you, I sort of let my little music baby out into the world. I like to do like a, a, a small headline show to mm -hmm. kind of celebrate that moment. Cause it's, um, it's a real mi milestone for me. It's, it's been a long time coming. So I'm trying to enjoy it as much yeah, as possible. Uh, you <laughs> say something very good. I mean, enjoying it, yeah. you know, that, that's the most important thing. So, um, and uh, you keep writing and uh, you have uh, another song which uh, we're going to see the video li later on mm -hmm. uh, and you're preparing for your, uh, uh, you know, MP. For the EP, yeah. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm releasing singles and then I'm going to drop the EP um, with the final single. So yeah. that's still coming. How I'm, many I'm, songs? So there's five. five. I've released two ah, so five. far yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm preparing to release the third one. Mm -hmm. And so maybe a few months into 2024, hopefully the, the EP will be ready to, yeah, to release yeah. and they'll be all together in a collection. That's nice. Okay, before we go further to see another uh, live performance, mm -hmm. uh, tell me about your acting. I mean, you do acting. Tell me about your acting. I mean, uh, what have you done uh, so far? I've done, artists, um, okay. it's been quite varied. Um, I mean, uh, my heart is kind of with theatre. I love doing uh, theatre theater, because you're able to really get into those characters uh -huh. and kind of grow with the characters and each performance mm -hmm. um, can be different. Um, I watched you um, recently when you did this, uh, you know, uh, it was like a reading uh, Oh, the know, rehearsal, right, yeah, yeah, the rehearsal yeah, yeah, reading, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, what's happening with that? Uh, you abandon so, it or is no? It no, I'm hoping. Um, hoping that we're going to be able to move that forward. That was a really interesting project. Yeah. Um, with uh, another Greek girl. Yes, but yeah. it started with the writer Rohan uh -huh. Kandapa. Um, he was looking to work on some projects, and um, the casting was basically us having a chat, uh -huh. and he asked me certain things about my background, um, and my experience of being a London-born Cypriot, and things mm -hmm. like that. And from that, he created um, this sort of two-hander play. Okay. Um, which was kind of debating identity, uh -huh. being caught in between the two cultures yeah, yeah. and the kind of push and pull that you have, which mm -hmm. I think everyone who has dual nationality kind of feels that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and, and then um, he asked me if I knew somebody that I would like to work mm -hmm. with who would play... Um, the other part, um, and I had a friend who's also a singer, songwriter, actress, Yes. Uh, Eleni Skashbari, and yeah, we worked on that, we started working on that, we did a rehearsed reading, which you came yeah, to. Yeah, I was, I was uh, there, yes. That and time. yeah, I definitely would love to take the next step with that and, mm -hmm. and, and create it as a production, like a fully fledged production, mm -hmm. that's so hopefully nice. that's in the, in the pipeline. Okay, being on the radio and listening to so many Greek songs yeah. and the, uh, all these, which singer you know, you are, um, let's see, how can I say, inspiring most and uh, oh, which one you love and you listen more than anyone else, you know what I mean? That's a really tough question. Yeah, it's not <laughs> tough, you know, I mean, you, uh, I know, I know you like a couple, yeah, you know, I, couple of them. Yeah. I think it kind of depends on what I'm 
on what I'm kind of looking at. Uh -huh. So at the moment, a singer that kind of pops out to me in terms of if you were thinking very modern um, is Josephine. Mm -hmm. Ah, Josephine, um, yeah. She's kind of got that rocky poppy kind yeah, of voice. Yeah. She's good, yeah. Um, she's very energetic in her performances mm -hmm. and um, I quite admire like her consistency and um, sort mm -hmm. of commitment that she brings to everything she does. So as a modern pop singer, um, I do find her quite inspiring. Um, and of course, I always look back to like the legends like Marinella and... Oh, yes. Those voices, it doesn't matter how much time passes yeah. from their songs, you hear them and it does something to you, I think. <laughs> you, you did your own song. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I, I remember I played quite a few times, but I, I don't remember the title. What okay. was it? A Greek song. Yeah, Greek song, yes. I've done a few. I did, uh, maybe it's Stinangalia, it might be The Embrace, that I did as part of the... The Rick Stein, is that what you're thinking of? Uh, for the soundtrack? Uh, it was all in Greek. Yeah, it's a yeah. few. I've done a few uh, commissions yeah. where I've been invited to songwrite. How, ma how many songs you did in Greek? How many songs I've done in Greek? Quite a few. I've done a few. Yeah. I've done, I've done a few, yeah. yeah. I want to do more. I actually want to do... Um, you plan planning to do some more yeah, Greek songs, I wanna yeah? I want to take one of my songs from the mm -hmm. EP and do a Greek ah, version. Can it, I mean, ah, Greek version, yeah, yes. Yeah, to do a Greek version That's of it. That's a very good and, idea. I mean, sometimes, yeah. you know, you can't literally always... Uh -huh. um, translate it yeah. but I want to kind of get the e essence of one of the songs yeah. and do a Greek version so yeah, that's kind of something I'm being in to this do. business and being a Greek Cypriot born in London and being uh, a presenter on radio and yeah. you doing your own music I think my opinion is to write more uh, in Greek music as well I think Greek that's definitely, songs, yeah. yes, that's yes, definitely yes. something that I want to do I want to lean you more can, into that you can gain more listeners and uh, more people to listen to your English music as well you know what I mean yeah it can all yes. help each other yeah definitely can't yes, it yes, and yes, I think yes. it's a it's a part of myself that I'm really proud of uh -huh. like I love my Cypriotness and it's, yeah. it would be it would be great to in, um, in, increase how much it's in my music as well yeah, yeah. Pamena Dume, let's go and see the live performance. Okay. Tell me about this. Where, where so the live performance is of one man show, and that's actually going to be the next single from the EP that uh -huh. I'm going to be uh, releasing. So at the moment, I'm just preparing it. I want to get the video done and doing everything I need to to release it. But yeah, here's a sort of a live performance version of okay. that song. Okay. Let's go and see it.
Yeah, that's very good. I mean, confident on stage. You are, yeah? Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Well, you've got to be. You've yeah, got you to have be, to, yes. You have to sort of own the stage and take your moment, I yeah. think. Doing, yeah. doing so much. Do you have any hobbies? I mean, what do you do in your free time, if, if you have it every time? Oh, at know? the moment, not much. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you mean something outside of performing or...? No, apart from uh, performing, yes. I mean, do you read? Do you play uh, uh, tennis? Do you, you, I mean, you, you do something else. Do you know, I've actually... Um, I recently you, did... You're going in a park and you're going... Oh, in I love... Uh, yes, yeah. I love nature. So yeah, I nature. love anything where I'm able to be around nature. Yeah. Um, whether that's just to sort of chill and just take uh -huh. a moment or just to be or inspired are by you it. cook? You cook as well. Right? I mean, I try to cook. You try. <laughs> I try it's to like cook. me, yes. Like I me. try. Yeah, you try. Yep. Um, yeah, so I think there may be room for improvement in that yeah. department. But um, yeah, I try to um, do different things. I love, I love to read as well. And uh -huh. um, I recently did a dance course. Yeah. Yeah. To ah, kind yeah. You yeah, told me about I it. I recently did so a how, dance. You course. finish it? I finished it now. So how is how is going? I mean, you you learn. Yeah, it was um, it was specifically moves. for singers and it's actors. something to do with them, um, to do with your performances. Yeah, it's I mean, kind future of to help performances. It. So yeah. also, yeah. if um, a lot of auditions nowadays uh -huh. they have like a movement or dance call. Okay. And so I wanted to feel confident to be able to go and, and do that, and also just to get a bit more sporty again and a bit more active. I used yeah. to be so active when I was younger. Uh huh. And um, I think sometimes with everything else, you kind of forget and you you don't necessarily do that so it's been great for me just to get more active and just to have fun really yeah yeah so um, uh, how about future plans future plans. do you have any future plans going to hollywood going <laughs> to greece to um, sing there to um, europe to cyprus um, do you know, i would actually really love to do festivals Festivals um, oh, yeah. in the UK, but also beyond in other countries. You know, as there's well. a festival happening in Cyprus with Ed Sheeran. Oh, okay, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing! I know they have like the like, rock festival. They have quite yeah, a few different he, festivals. He might be in need some uh, Greek singers to. I mean, to. That's all right. I should uh, volunteer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell him I I, oh, I do it free <laughs> for you. For you, I do it free. But. <laughs> I have to look into that. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. is a you know a concert coming next yeah. year. So yes. Festivals, uh, it's, it's a very good idea, you, you know, uh, get the chance uh, to um, perform in front of um, so many people. Yeah, a different crowd yes. and mm. again, you get to meet different musicians and yeah. as well as perform, you get to see yeah. and potentially be inspired. So, so. Uh, between the two, I mean, uh, what do you prefer? Which one is, I mean, if, if somebody offer you a part to go to Hollywood, would you abandon singing and go to Hollywood? Or? I wouldn't abandon singing, uh -huh. but I might like, you know, but cons you can consider do it. that. You, you, <laughs> I might you consider do, that. You can do both, like, um, uh, what do you call her, this uh, lady, uh, Lady Gaga, for example. Yeah, I think I, I kind of really aspire yeah. to, you know, like the, the performers from back in the day where they used to kind of, they used to sing, they used to act. Um, they weren't sort of defined, oh, just one or the other. Yeah. And I kind of really inspired to be as much of a fully-fledged performer as I can because I really feel like it all helps each other. Mm -hmm. I feel like the acting helps the singing, helps the performance, and the singing and getting in touch with my feelings helps my acting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I, I think that's, for me, that's really important and something that I want to um, just bring out as, as much as possible. Oh, definitely, and because yeah. you, you did the dancing course now and uh, you did the acting course and, you, and the singing, you can put it all together. Yeah. And the best place to do that is West End. Oh, well, West you know, End would be how amazing. How about West End? I mean, I, do you, do you have that. any dreams to uh, be in, a, in West End? I in would love, um, like to be in a musical like Bonnie and Clyde. Musical, yes. Uh -huh. Something like that, which has a really strong story, yeah. very strong characters. And you sing, you know, some songs yeah, too. Yeah. Um, that would def that's definitely on a career, a career aspiration that I'm working towards. Yes. Okay. Um, right now, uh, let's talk about your uh, latest, you know, uh, 
Yeah, the last release. Yes, rice. Poseida, και είχες φτερά, you have yes. wings. You <laughs> I was waiting a long you time to, to, wear, to wear those wings. Tell me about that. About the song or about the video? No, tell or? me about, about both. I mean, you wrote the song. Uh, tell me about uh, where you get the idea from okay. and then why you want to rise. Why, uh, to rise, yes, but why you want it to fly? I don't fly. Know. Yeah. So, in terms of the song, yeah. the song I wrote during that difficult time, and it was... Um, Inspi a big inspiration was a uh, kind of wisdom that my mum mm -hmm. told me at the time, you know, um, that in the end, you know, things are temporary and okay, maybe this is really tough now, but you, one day you will, you know, you'll rise again, you will um, overcome. Mm -hmm. So that kind of inspired this song and at the time I needed like my own anthem, really. I kind of wrote the so, song. So, uh, I mean, the, uh, at the end of the day, when you uh, go down, you can't go further down. No, you, you have, have to, to rise. You have to come up. Yeah, so uh, you, you know, and, up, and that yeah. it's okay yeah. in those moments when you don't feel maybe your best or you are struggling. Yeah. Um, I think the song was about that. I mean, initially it started as a song for myself, but as I wrote it and once I recorded it, and I guess once I processed my own trauma mm. that was attached to that experience, yeah. it became more about sharing that message yeah. and wanted to share that message to. Um, to anyone else who was having that moment of struggle that you know I, I see you I understand what you're going mm. through and you know things will get better so mm. it has a very special message um, that I hope translate and I've had a really wonderful mm. uh, reception from the song yeah which I'm, I'm really proud of that it is seems to be resonating with people who listen to it and, and that's what I really wanted from that song Okay, and about the video clip, I mean, you know, I mean, how, uh, where the idea came from, oh, the wings? Yeah, the video, <laughs> <laughs> the video clip, the idea I actually had, like, years before. Yeah. And I got the wings, and the wings were hanging up uh -huh. in my house and for, you like, wanted two to use years. Them. You want to use them. <laughs> While yeah. I was waiting for, yeah. you know, all the other pieces to come into play. And I get to play um, in the video. I get to do a bit of acting in there, too. Um, which I always like to include in my music videos. But I get to play um, the protagonist, if you like, and also uh -huh. the angel. And the video, I guess in terms of what the angel means, or in terms of the, the wings and the rising up, is I guess those two parts of yourself. Uh -huh. Like the angel kind of represents your inner strength yeah. and your inner spirit. Mm -hmm. um, and that even when you are going through whatever you're going through, there's that part of you yeah. that will, you know, stand strong and yeah. will help you yeah, overcome. Very, very emotional. Yeah. Yes. Uh, tell me, uh, I think, I think, I'm not sure I remember the title of your song, and, um, you know, but before that, do you have anything coming up, a live performance somewhere so we can come and watch you? I'm, well, planned? I'm looking, at the moment, I'm probably looking to do my next headline show in the new year. Uh -huh. um, I've got a couple of other projects. I've got a short film that I'm doing just before Christmas. Okay. So at the moment, I'm kind of preparing for that. Um, and, yeah, what, there's... What is your short film about? What it's called story? Promise Gobbling. I'm playing an elf. You play? An elf. So it Ooh. has kind of a Christmassy theme. Oh, right, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm working on that, and there's a couple of other projects that I'm waiting sort of to confirm. And yeah, just I'm at the moment I'm kind of um, writing some new stuff and kind of planning what my next step is for the new mm -hmm. year. But definitely there's going to be more. So um, on my yeah. socials, I always keep that updated. Yeah, yeah. So. Did you have a song called uh, Yasu? I did, yeah. Uh, you see, I just remember <laughs> Yasu. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> Can you, can you uh, give us one of the verses or, or the chorus, just uh, to get an idea? Of Yasu? Sing, 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 sing the chorus, you know, just... Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I haven't sang, this, I haven't sang yes. this song I play for the a music. little while. I, pl I play the guitar, okay? On the spot here, I, I, I play the buzuki, okay? O danles Yasu, o eros rigni, me stingar diamu, to velos tis agapis, o danles Yasu, Θέλω να ζήσω, θα σ' ακολουθήσω ως τα αστέρια. Να πάμε στα αστέρια. Πολύ ωραία. Μπράβο, Κατρίνα μου. Λοιπόν, I think, you know, we have to say a big thank you. Thank you for having me. For managing to come here tonight and just 
making uh, us happier. And I wish you all the best with your projects. Naihis Kala Christugena. Christugena coming very soon. Thank you. And uh, wish you all the best with your um, you know, future. And uh, I'm waiting for the next Greek song. Okay? So I can play it That's on the right. radio as well. And also, I'm waiting for you to learn Liar Liar. Yeah. And you'll be on my next show. Yeah. Vasily Banayu. Yeah. <laughs> Supporting. Definitely. <laughs> And, so I'm very, uh, very excited. We're going to see the video clip. Yes, we're going to see yeah. Rise. Rise. And all my news um, you can find out on all the socials at Cats Music. That's K-A-T-S-M-U-S-I-Q. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank 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 you very much. And uh, we we'll see you next Sunday at the same time with the different face or faces. Have a good night. Kalita. Yes, when you found me I was beaten down Life's unexpected turns Have me going round and round And I wondered If I'll make it through White flag at my fingertips So close to losing And then you told me Now stand up tall Don't be ashamed Sometimes we all gonna fall And when you stumble Just take a breath It's okay not to be okay Life's not a test you And that he was giving up Though the tears fell And my heart was bruised Something fired up in me He's the one that's losing And I told myself Now stand up tall Don't be ashamed Sometimes we all gonna fall And when you stumble Just take a breath It's okay not to be okay Life's not a change Sometimes we all gonna fall We stumble Just take a breath It's okay not to be okay Life's not